Hey, Sagittarius. What's up, Sagittarius? Welcome back to the channel. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This is going to be for Sagittarius placements. So Sagittarius Sun, Moon Rising, also Venus, or wherever you guys have Sagittarius in your charts, all right? Keep in mind that this is general, that it may or may not resonate with all of you Sagittarius out there. But if it does, please show Ashley some love. Show Fire some love, y'all. All right? So let's hop in. Let's see what's going on with you, Sag. We are going to start out with some self-care oracle cards. All righty. So let's see. Sagittarius. Oh, yes. Sagittarius, don't forget. The September box is still available and it is almost sold out. Um, that reading does include a free, I said that reading, <laughs> the September box includes a free reading and a um, manifestation worksheet plus the six products. The tarot class starts next week and the two for one reading special is still available. All that info is in the description box below. All right, so let's pull some self-care messages. Let's see what's going on with you, Sag. You guys got look for fairies. So that's up to y'all if y'all believe in fairies or not, okay? Not saying they're not real, but I see the butterfly on here. So I always tell people when I see this card or how I pick it up intuitively, um, this is, it reminds me of a butterfly, like growing, evolving, transforming, going through some type of transformation. So butterflies could be a sign to you that you are going through some type of major transformation. Something is evolving, something is changing um, in your life, okay? Um, let's see. We have sound healing. So some of you guys could be into sound healing. Um, so a sound bowl would be perfect for you guys, okay? Or do some type of sound healing meditation, okay? That can be definitely a part of your self-care. We have energy work. So just doing some energy work in general. Some of you guys are needing to balance your chakras here or realign your, your chakras. Okay, you guys could be getting some type of Reiki done. So that's good. This, again, is about, I'm seeing a lot of, like, meditation, like, going within, clearing your mind. You know, that's what I'm picking up. I feel like a lot of you guys are, like, in a very zen energy right now. Um, at the bottom, we have burning bowl ritual. So that would make sense. We are in a full moon. So some of you guys could be letting go of the old so that the new can come in. Maybe you guys are getting rid of um, people, places, things, you know, um, and just needing to clear your energy all together. And you guys know with a burn ritual, you write down the things that you want to release, the things you want to change, the people you want to let go of. And, you know, you have your fire and you throw it in there and you take your ashes and you go far away and you dispose of the ashes. Whether, you know, it's in a lake, a pond, a river, or you're just taking it far away and like, you know, releasing it. I would say, I wouldn't say too far, at least five to ten miles away, you know, because you don't want that energy nowhere near you, not close to you. Okay, so... Let's see what Archangel Michael wants you guys to know. Archangel Michael, could you please step in and give me a message for Sagittarius? Okay, so we got believe and trust. So it says, before going to sleep tonight, say Archangel Michael, please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence, okay? So you guys are needing to believe and trust at this time and have faith, courage, strength, and confidence, okay? All right, let's jump into your reading Sagittarius. And let it be good because I've seen some of y'all comments last week. Unfortunately, I had to delete some of y'all and block some of y'all. I don't know what was going on, but y'all were like, oh, we got no positive reading. And trust me, I have no issue with Sagittarius. I actually love y'all. I fuck with y'all. Um, sometimes that's just the message. I don't come up here to just put out negative messages. Sometimes it just is what it is, you know? And the interesting thing is that y'all will say that, but then, like, the last week and the week before, I had, like, 10 Sagittarius's book with me. So, I, I definitely know my heart is resonating with some of y'all, but maybe some of y'all are in a different place or space. You know, I can't help the messages that come out, though, all right? Um, but let's... Pray that they're positive, okay? All right, Spirit, please step in and help guide me through this reading for the sign of Sagittarius. What do they need to know and hear at this time? Sagittarius, what do they need to know and hear? What does Sagittarius need to know and hear at this time? What do they need to know and hear at this time? So we got judgment, all right? So this is like a reevaluation, reflecting, making some type of decision, okay? Maybe somebody went in a second chance. Five of Pentacles. So you guys could have felt breadcrumb, you know, left um, hanging. 
You could have felt left hanging out in the cold by somebody or you felt like somebody betrayed you. You could have felt like, and the reason why I said betrayed because you're like, damn, I had your back. Like we went through hell and back and I had your back and I was there for you. I supported you. We have the chariot. It could be a cancer. So you can be moving on from this energy to lovers. Some of you guys are actually going towards new love. The interesting thing is for some of you guys, you may feel like somebody is coming back or I feel like you want somebody to come back. But the person that you want to come back is somebody that played you and betrayed you. Somebody that left you hanging. Okay, that left you high and dry. And I don't know. I just see you guys moving on. The chariot is moving on, shifting out of this energy. The lover is going towards new love, a love connection. It could be a Gemini. It could be a Cancer involved. Let's see. Seven of Pentacles. You have a lot to think about, Sagittarius. Okay, let's see. We got the Four of Swords. Yeah. So something is not moving forward. Like with the Four of Swords, this is somebody like healing and recovering. You could be healing and recovering from what you went through with them. So it's like you're out of the Three of Swords. Now you're in the Four of Swords. So it's like as the time is moving forward, maybe you're not you know, in your feelings as much or holding on as much. But then a part of you was like, okay, are they going to come back? Should I give them another chance? So it's like in your mind, you're preparing yourself to give this person another chance. But I don't feel like, and I'm not, I don't want to say it like this. I'm not saying that they're not coming back and that you guys won't reconnect. But it just seems like something better is coming in for you. And that's what I feel like when I said the universe, God, like, you know, that's what they want for you. That's what is wanted for you. Some people say universe, some people say God. So I say both, Okay. Um, and then we have the, the queen of swords. So cutting out what no longer serves you and the high priestess needed to follow and trust your intuition. There could be a Pisces here and there's going to be somebody that comes in and it's going to just feel so good. It's going to just feel right with the high priestess and the lovers. This might be your new man. You're not, you might just be like, damn, like I feel very connected to this person. And there is a spiritual connection with the high priestess and the lovers here. Okay. So, um, let's see where this is going. Sagittarius. Because I feel like spirit is, is trying to put you in a, in, a, in a new direction. Like they're trying to push you towards something better, something new. And I just feel like um, when this person comes in, like, like this is major. I feel like something is going to just out of nowhere change. I feel like, you know, expect the unexpected. Yeah, like expect the unexpected. Like you're falling in love. You know, new soulmate connection is what I'm getting. Let's see. Messages for Sagittarius. Uh oh. Let's see. Messages for Sagittarius. Why is the judgment card here for Sagittarius? Look, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So I just feel like you guys need to think about this. There's definitely some type of imbalance here within your relationship. And with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, it's not that she can be obsessed with status, but it can be a situation where whoever you're dealing with. It may be that, like, even though this person did you bad or did you wrong, you don't want people to see the relationship is over. Y'all broke up. Y'all going through a breakup. You're going through a divorce. You're splitting up. You don't want people to know that. So with the Queen of Pentacles and Reverse and Judgment, it's kind of like you don't want people to judge you, you know, and say, like, oh, like, she can't keep a man or her relationship failed or oh, they broke up. Oh, they're not getting married. Oh, they divorced. It's like you don't want somebody to say nothing. You know, some of you guys are worried about what other people are going to say or what other people are, will say about this breakup or about this relationship. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. They're going to be like, oh, I knew that relationship wasn't going anywhere. But some people been seeing that this relationship was lacking. Some people been seeing that this person was not putting energy into you or that things had changed in this relationship. Yeah, people been seeing it before you did. Three of Pentacles in reverse. People did see this person is not committing to you, not being able to offer a gift to the relationship and seeing it as over. But I feel like maybe you're having a hard time accepting that something is over. It could be with a Scorpio. So I feel like this uh, Sagittarius, like some of you guys are worried about what the outsiders are saying and how people may feel. But people were already seeing that there was some type of ending here. Yeah, the Knight of Cups reversed. But then people felt like you were going to let them back in. Or maybe because you and this person kept breaking up, getting back together. It looks like there was some type of on and off situation here between you and this person. Um, and some people were rooting for you to go towards better. Some people were like, yeah, she deserves better. He deserves better. Let's go into this five of pentacles. Yeah, the two of pentacles in reverse. Again, there's a, there's definitely an imbalance here. We got it all over this reading. This is somebody that is that, that is not committing to a relationship. The two of pentacles in reverse is the inability to commit to something. You know, or to commit to anything. This is somebody that's always changing their mind about something. 
Mm -hmm. And it was draining. It was exhausting for you. We got the Empress in reverse. This person could also feel like you were being smothering or, you know, trying to suffocate them. Always wanted to be around them. Like, you know, you could have just been focused on them and maybe could have lost yourself in the relationship. And I don't like to really say it like that, but it's like the Empress is in reverse. I feel like you were just pouring and giving too much. We got the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And we got the Six of Cups. Some of you guys are doing it for your children. Some of y'all were doing it because, like I said, you feel like there's a soulmate connection. You feel like this is the person you're supposed to be with. A lot of you guys are definitely dealing with Scorpio. We got a lot of Scorpio energy here, okay? Um, but it seems like you guys wanted to be like in a playful and happy energy with them again. You know, like you wanted things to work out. And with the chariot, let's see. It's like you definitely wanted things to move forward. Look, three of cups reverse. This person could have also chose somebody else. And then the three of cups reverse is also just the on again, on the on again, off again between y'all. Okay, you could have felt betrayed. You could have felt like this person deceived you. Three of Cups reverse is a card of deception, betrayal. You feel neglected. They could have been hanging out with their friends, homeboys. Third party doesn't always have to be romantic, but they could have been in other situations, dealing with other people, putting family, work, their friends um, before you. Um, you know, just hanging in crowds. Maybe they have a lot of friends. They're very social. Maybe they have a lot of friends of the um, opposite sex and stuff like that, and that could have been an issue too. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys felt like they were giving in to everybody else but you guys. Mm-hmm. Eight of Cups walking away. Hmm. Why did this person walk away from Sagittarius? It was about a commitment issue and also about an opportunity for some of you guys. Damn, for some of you guys, they did just leave because they were just like kind of done with the situation. Four of Cups is a card of, like, boredom, rejection, you know, neglecting you. Hmm, why is the Four of Cups here? Ten of Cups, Eight of Swords. Somebody, for some of you, not all of you, for some of you, they felt like they were being too pressured into a, commit, a commitment or you and a family or children or something like that. Mm-hmm. They felt trapped with that Eight of Swords. There was something that you wanted that they felt like they couldn't offer right now. And they told you that they needed more time. And this person felt like they were going to do it, but it would have been on their own timing. And I feel like you guys wanted it now. I'm going to the lovers. I'm going to the lover. Yeah, the will of fortune. I told you somebody is coming in. Like I said, out of nowhere. See, temperance. That's double sad air, air. I'm sorry, double sad energy. The fool could be an Aquarius coming in, but y'all are definitely going towards some type of new beginning, and something is out of your control. Something is happening that's out of your control. How something is going to play out, and you're going to be shocked. Mm -hmm. And what you're leaving behind is somebody that is unstable, that was slow to commit, somebody that would not commit to you, somebody that was playing the field, somebody that was a ladies' man, could have been a Virgo, um, an Aries, a Taurus, mm -hmm. somebody that you grew frustrated with. Could be a Leo. Somebody that had you feeling insecure. Somebody that was not bringing security and stability to the relationship. Somebody that um, kind of took advantage of the situation. Mm -hmm. Somebody that didn't make you happy. Nine of Cups reverse. Mm -hmm. That's like, that's talking about a relationship that's failed. So after Sagittarius is re after Sagittarius released this energy, what's coming in? Because with the Queen of Swords, that talks about you releasing this energy, letting go. Over here, you're just thinking, taking a break, contemplating. I don't feel like I need to go into that. That's like, yeah, let's see. Why is this um why is the Queen of Swords here? See, yeah, you're taking action moving forward. Some of you guys are gonna reach out to somebody and tell somebody or communicate that. Or right, you're just moving in a new direction. Mm-hmm. You're tired. And some of you guys are exhausted and you feel like you should have been moved out of this energy. You should have been poured back into yourselves. Mm-hmm. Ace of Swords. Gaining some type of clarity. Making a decision. Going toward a new opportunity. Why is the high priestess here when it comes to this new love? Page of Cups on your So there could be somebody that's been flirting with you or likes you, but you've been ignoring them. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. 
somebody who's emotionally tapped out or you're just like you just yes yeah, so you've been going through a lot of heartbreak so i feel like you haven't noticed this person for some of you guys this person is in your life currently like you already know this person i know this person this person likes you but you don't pay them any attention you don't pay them no mind or you ignore them or this is somebody that maybe you're just you didn't look at them like that you know so you're just like oh i didn't look at them like that but look we got the sun this is somebody that can make you really happy three of wands a situation that can definitely manifest and move forward give me one second sad i'm sorry all right sorry about that sagittarius so yeah it does look like somebody is going to come into your life and make you happy and i do see forward movement um let's pull some love messages and see what's going on with you guys and love all right let's see love messages for sagittarius Love messages for Sagittarius. Love messages for Sagittarius. So we got addiction here. It says toxic attachment. Hold on. So let's see. It says toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, obsession. So this person can have some type of um, addiction. This looks like your old relationship. Yeah, your old relationship with me with anxiety. Look, toxic relationship, addiction, and anxiety. Yeah. Fighting, codependent, misunderstanding, triggered, anxiety, stress, depression, uh, panic attacks, restless. Yeah, y'all are definitely going through something in a situation. We got social media, spying, online dating, reminiscent, networking. So this person could be watching your social media. And you guys could be between the lines. So... Yeah, you guys can be like kind of torn, feeling some type of way. Let's see where y'all are blocked at. Or let's, what's blocking you in love or where you're blocked at in this relationship. But it definitely seems like y'all are like torn, like between the lines. But are just like kind of feeling like you don't know what to do. But I feel like something is pretty much over. You guys are moving towards something new. Maybe just having fully accepted the fact that it's over. Um, but it's like this new love looks fun. It seems exciting. It's got the sun card, the world card. This looks really good, very healing. Let's see. We have comparison. Mm, comparing is unfair. Leave the past behind and see your new love for who they are. What did I just say? <laughs> what did I just say, Sag? I told you new love is coming in. So that can be blocking you because there can be new love trying to come in. And you can be trying to, like, get the past to come back in. Or you want the past to come towards you. Or, like, focus on the past. And that can be an issue. All right. Then we got burnt out. You feel emotionally burned out right now. Retreat and recover before continuing. So, yeah, you can be feeling burnt out. What else is blocking you? So it is. I'm sorry. Sorry, y'all. I need to turn my notifications off. We have being needy. Make friends and spend time by yourself to take the pressure off your relationship. So, some of you guys either need to make friends um or like spend some alone time we got being needy and not to say this sad but remember i told you when you saw the uh the empress in reverse sometimes she could be like needy you know she can suffocate her partner like she wants to spend a lot of time with them you know and that could have been an issue too let's pull a um love message i mean not a love message a finance message for you guys let's see finances in career finances in career We got mentor so someone is willing to share experiences in their field that will motivate you to do better your work and teachings inspire others so you guys can be a mentor like where you're helping people grow financially or some of you guys are looking into a mentor maybe you're taking some type of finance class or some of you guys can buy buying digital products or doing something that's going to help you or maybe you guys are being like um a finance coach or a business coach or something like that to help you grow and expand your business or your finances we got heart so for some of you guys that's what your heart is in meaning like you like helping people and that brings you in a lot of money like you need, like you guys need to get into like mentoring somebody helping somebody coaching somebody um the heart card also talks about emotional spending joint finances it says being supported counselor guide see having a job you love so some of you guys um uh, maybe need to get into like becoming a counselor a guide a coach you know or maybe just teaching people the things that you know okay where's my other deck all right let's pull some additional spirit spirit messages and then that will be your reading Sagittarius. all right let's 
see additional messages for Sagittarius, additional messages for Sagittarius. So we have end of a cycle. Yes, yeah, so you guys are coming out of some type of cycle. We have vivid dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Let's see. Yeah, your dreams could be telling you about a relationship or some type of marriage or commitment that's coming in for you. We have codependency. Some of you guys can be breaking some type of codependent cycle. Yeah, your relationship that you were in with the last person, it was codependent, three of swords. Y'all dependent on each other. Or maybe you were codependent to the person or the relationship or they were codependent to you. Look, I can't tell you guys again, new love, it came out three times. All in your reading, new love, new love. The comparison card, the new love here, and I see it in your reading actually four times because I seen it up there. We have slow and steady. So slow and steady wins the race. And then we have abundance is near. So some of you guys are moving a little bit slower than you want to, but it's bringing in abundance. So as the summer ends, y'all are shifting. Remember, um, fall starts on the 22nd. We got end of a cycle. So you're going into a new cycle around fall. And then remember I told you guys, counsel and therapy. But when I look at that, remember, that can also be like a counselor, a guide, you know, helping somebody, coaching somebody. So some of you guys need to definitely look into that, okay? We got busy and distracted, and we got ghosted, and we got um, regaining balance. So some of you guys are needing, in order for you to regain balance, I'm not going to say you like need to ghost somebody, but you need to block out distractions or ignore somebody. Okay? So that is what I have for you guys. That is your reading, Sagittarius. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book with me, fireintuition.com. Alrighty? Follows.